let's, 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 go, let's go to another question here. Second Peter chapter one. <laughs> okay. Second Peter chapter one. Uh, the phrase. Could you could you give us your understanding of the last phrase uh, of Second Peter chapter one verse eleven? Okay. Specifically to Kuriu Hemon Kai Soteras Yesu Christu, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. Are, you, are we going to discuss the Granville Sharp rule here? Well, I'm asking you for oh, okay. your understanding. Uh, is Jesus both Lord and Savior? Okay. I already presented during my presentation, if you still remember, Acts 2.36, God made Jesus as Lord. Acts 5.31, Apostle Peter said, God exalted Jesus to be a Savior. That's the meaning of this verse that you are asking. So, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, go to Acts 2.36. God made Jesus Lord okay. and now, Savior. Thank you, thank you very much. That, that, oh, okay. that, that's not the point. Okay. So, in 2 Peter 1.11, okay. when you have Lord and Savior, they're both referring to one person, right? No. No? Oh, and this one? Yes. It is referring to one person. Okay, all right, so that's verse 11. So up in verse 1, you have the exact same form, the exact same syntax. Okay. And yet, what it's who is it referring to? To no. the you, Hamon, Kaiso, Teros, Jesu, Christu. Exact same order, exact same words, except it's our God and Savior. Jesus. Oh, okay, that's why I said to you it's just one. To me, it's two. Our God. Grammatically, sir. Grammatically. If, well, if Peter we, we do not base we do not base our doctrine or our teaching in the Church of Christ simply by means of grammar. So because the revelation of God in Scripture, you have something more than that. See, the, the point is, you're trying to impress everybody here that you're a Greek grammar, and you're trying to show to them. I'm not a Greek grammar, I assure you that. I mean, Greek, a, a Greek uh, a grammarian. Now, let's just say Greek grammarian. Let's, let's okay. not get into this. Let's answer the question. Uh, okay, all right. The form of the language in 2 Peter 1.1 1, 1 is identical to 1.11. You just admitted that 1.11, both Lord and Savior refer to Jesus Christ. Okay. Here now, it's God and Savior. That's why I said grammatically from the text, not not from the teachings that you've been told by your hierarchy, no, 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 but problem. from the inspired word of God. Why is it not proper to say our God and Savior Jesus Christ? It is because if you look at verse 11, okay, the God here made Jesus Christ as Lord and made Jesus Christ as Savior. This is Apostle Peter's writing. He came from Acts 2.36. Peter was the one speaking. So it can't In mean Acts it. Acts five thirty one. So it can't mean it. Right? Was, huh? So it just can't mean it. Even though, even though, even though that's what the text actually says. That's why he said you can't. You, it just can't mean that. That's why I'm saying the eleven <laughs> is different from one. This is one. This how's, is eleven. How, wait, 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 wait. How is it different? Grammatically. Grammatically, our God. That's one. Okay. Tuthayu, our God. Tuthayu Hemon. And okay. Christ Oteros. And Jesus, our Savior. So for you to understand this, as 1 Corinthians 2.13 says, you have to compare spiritual things with spiritual. You do not make a theology sir, of one single verse. Sir, sir, you admitted that in 111, to Kuriyu Hemon Kaisoteras, is our Lord and Savior. Correct. The That's... same author, 10 verses earlier, uses the exact same words in the exact same forms with okay. one difference instead of kuriu you have the you and now you're telling us well it means it there and yeah there's three other times in the same letter he does the you, same you, you thing but it your, mean the same you can thing. reserve your comment later on okay here's my answer peter was the one who wrote this book all right so he he said in acts 236 he said in Acts 2 36, God made Jesus as Lord. So he made a mistake here then? He did not make a mistake here. It is your understanding that is mistaken. So here. I, if I believe both. Okay. So, so if I believe, so if I actually believe what he says here and translate it correctly and accept what he says in Acts 2, I'm doing sola scriptura and tota scriptura. How are you doing the same thing? What I'm doing is I, I'm following 1 Corinthians 2.13. You compare spiritual things with spiritual. So you compare the verse, a verse in Peter, with another verse in Acts, in which Peter, Peter said, God made Jesus as a savior. The God, our God. And...
looking for the sun. Find me looking for the sun. For the sun. Yep. Okay. So in Second Peter 1.11, okay. when you have Lord and Savior, they're both referring to one person, right? No. No? Oh, uh, this one? Yes. It is referring to one person. So it can't mean it. five thirty one. So it can't mean it, right? Was, huh? So it just can't mean it. Even though, even though, even though that's what the text actually says. That's why he said you can't. It just can't mean that. That's what I'm saying. The eleven <laughs> is different from one. This is one. This how's, is eleven. How, wait, 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 wait. How is it different grammatically? It just can't mean it. Even though, even though, even though that's what the text actually says. That's what he said. You can't. You, it just can't mean that. That's what I'm saying. The eleven is different from one. This is one. This how is, is eleven. How, wait, 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 wait. How is it different? Grammatically. Our God. Grammatically, sir. Grammatically. If, well, if Peter. We, we do not base. We do not base our doctrine or our teaching in the Church of Christ simply by means of grammar. Looking for the sun Find me looking for the sun For the sun Yep